Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix on this fantastic Friday evening. My name is Adef, and we are back, baby. Challenger approaching is back. I know, it's been like almost three months, I think, or maybe not. I don't know. I can't keep track, but I'm here, and we're joined by the ever-wonderful Starro Chris, but we're going to introduce him in just one second. We've got some announcements, as always. SGDQ 2023 is coming up May 28th to June 4th. That's just in like three or four weeks. It's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you're interested in attending the event, registration is open only two more days until May 7th. Go to gamesonquick.com for more info. And this weekend, starting tomorrow at noon Eastern, May 6th through 7th, that's Saturday and Sunday, we are having Sonic in the Parallel Worlds, which is a weekend-long event featuring Sonic fan games, mods, and more. Again, that's starting at noon each day. Use exclamation Sonic in Twitch chat to learn more. But gamers, today we are joined by the esteemed Starro Chris. Chris, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm excited. You know, I love, I think it's no secret to people by now that I love Elden Ring. I've had Elden Ring on both of my shows several times, um, <laughs> but uh, I'm it's a good always game. excited to have it again. It's a great game. And uh, the secret to my GDQ shows is I put on the things I want to see. And uh, <laughs> this is something I want to see. So, Chris, I want to get into this, but I just have a few quick questions. How did you get into randomizer runs of this game? Um, so, really, I, I kind of first started off with just some general speedruns and stuff, like any percent glitch of speedruns as well. But then I kind of got bored of that, and the 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 speed the, the randomizer was released. Um I guess a couple months before I kind of got bored of speedrunning of it. But, you know, along with, like, some other friends, we all were like, yeah, let's do, like, some speedrun, like, randomizer races against each other. Um, and just kind of been doing that uh, every, like, week or two for, I don't know, since, like, August or something like that, not earlier, like, nice. last year. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun to to go into the randomizer races. Yeah, they're super entertaining to watch. I'm really excited for everybody to see it. Uh, if anybody here has never seen um, a uh, Elden Ring randomizer run before, they are really entertaining. Uh, and we'll get into all the nitty gritty of rules and, and settings and things like that in a moment. Also, just want to give a quick shout out to, we have new layout stuff um, that's debuting this week uh, as of Monday, I think, on Hotfix. So like, we've got audio meters on the commentary so it's nuts so that's really cool but uh just a little you know a little time to get you hyped for sgdq but chris why don't we why don't we jump right in uh into the character selection screen sure yeah so right away you'll kind of see that we can get any sort of item replacing the characters here um we'll, we'll just go through one by one here so yeah you can see <laughs> this has the blasphemous blade the the vagabond class as well as the the giant crusher <laughs> for a secondary weapon you, at the top of the class list it'll show the uh the weapons and then the, that minus number is like how many stats you need to actually use that weapon uh, let's kind of go through the warrior always has a double like uh, the same weapon so that's interesting not the best the, this blasphemous blade is a pretty good weapon so that's kind of eyeing that right now the the dude horn is also a classic may not be as good but it's it's funny um, yeah, we're not going to look at that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Reduvia is pretty solid. Um, yeah. Doesn't have and the, the stats spells. are random too, right? Um, no, the stats are the, the normal starting. Oh, it's the normal distribution class. for the class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, I also have the setting on that I can start with a weapon that are just completely unwieldable, as you saw with like the, the, <laughs> the blast blade and the giant crusher. <laughs> um, another big hammer, the fingerprint shield. Wow. Okay. Uh, the sword of Saint Trina, claws, and then just the the classic wretch, the the halberd. Hmm. What are we thinking? See, I I feel like we have to go with the dude horn. <laughs> Just for the Even though memes? I can't really use it. Well, the the uh, the thing is with the randomizer, there's a lot of like checks I'll be doing for the first like 10, 15 minutes to go around 
checking the like various uh, I guess item checks and stuff like that. So we'll, most of the time we can find a weapon to pivot to, but if not, like this only takes what, like eleven levels to use to get to. So it'd be something to to hit the first couple bosses with. Sure. Yeah, I think You're going it's, for uh, it. it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mainly because like the blasphemous play just takes so much stats, so it wouldn't really be right. worth it. So I'm going to choose Bewitching Branch as my starting item here, because if we run into Commander Nial, we can actually use the branches on his summons to have them attack him. And I'm going to choose my, my favorite Mr. Green. What a, what a great looking guy. <laughs> what a good looking fellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm good to go whenever. Yeah, go ahead and give a countdown and jump right in. All right, on go. So three, two, one, go. If anybody has any horn emotes, probably now is a good time. <laughs> good luck, Chris. Thank you, thank you. I will definitely need it. <laughs> so, so right what, away... Yeah, what, what settings have we got? What's going on? Yeah, so... There is something called bias in the randomizers. The lower the bias, the more chance for items to be like kind of anywhere so like zero percent bias is more of a true randomizer items can be like literally anywhere let the um like the key items you have set um uh with a hundred by 100 percent bias well first yeah we kind of just ignore this boss <laughs> don't need to spend time on it um especially weapon you can't wield so we just jump off um but with 100 percent bias it's m the more like main bosses and like later game bosses and stuff provide like better rewards so like you'll more likely get a great rune from um like an actual great rune boss or something like that and, but i'm playing at 50 just to keep it a bit consistent but also keep it a bit more you know random um and so the really the only key items i have on for the settings right now are ooh, cool helmet um is two great runes are required to get into the capital, and that is it. We I made it so world medallion to get up to the mountaintops is not uh, required. We just get it automatically when going there, just because the world medallion can just be in the most hidden parts of anywhere, and it can take like a very polarizing amount of time to actually find it. Um, so yeah, there's a dragon con soldier just kind of walking around there. Don't mind him. We'll, we'll go around him. <laughs> Yeah, w worth noting that it's not just items that are randomized, like bosses oh. and enemies. Uh, it's like everything. Oh, he saw me. Okay. <laughs> Use a sentinel after all. <laughs> yeah, so you'll notice the um, uh, the titles of bosses will be kind of mashed up with whatever they're replacing. It's always a bit of fun. And also the music will be randomized as well. But some fun randomizer stuff. I'm gonna rest here to dagger him. So yeah, where we can find the great runes are from major bosses, um, key item locations, and merchants like Kale here. Those are the settings I have on. So Kale does not have anything for me, although he does have some weapons that I'm not the most interested in. And I hear this guy is aggroed on me. Yeah, okay, that's great. <laughs> Some just, of the bosses, just, when they... Oh, he what? doesn't despawn. He's not, he's That's not, why he's, he's not, not, not resetting. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep going then. <laughs> oh my god, he's destroying the first the church. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, with the merchants, it, it, there's a randomizer setting to grab their bell bearing. Um, it's like a custom bell bearing that I got. So I, yeah, I have Kali's bell bearing, and so when I get to the round table, I can give them all to the the twin maiden husks as like a just a, a central point to have them all. Um, that way, you don't always have to like go back to the merchants or kill them to have them drop their their bell bearings. Just uh, quality of life. <clears throat> so yeah, here I'm probably gonna just be going around to. A, Good things to check are the graveyards around uh, the map because there's just a lot of items in a single spot. So I'll be grabbing like three or four of those, a couple merchants, and then from there I'll kind of see if I need to go kind of get some more stuff or not. But here we're going to get a torrent from our beloved Melina. You need to the foot, then it summoned me. I bequeath. 
Maybe it will some torrent. Treat him with. I uh, I love I like torrent to get around faster, but man, torrent combat. It's not the it's not the best. <laughs> no, and yet I do wish he were there for Elden Beast. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, that would definitely be nice, especially for for speedruns. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a nice thing about randomizers, and it can also be a, a bad thing, is that, um, you know, we could get Elden Beast in a small arena, which is pretty good, because then it won't run around so much, but you could also get something like Fire Giant in a small arena, <laughs> and that is not something we want, really. Especially Phase 2, because he, he has an attack. It can be, it can be annoying. Three will, just a quick talk to Roderico wearing Gideon's helmet. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, the NPCs have randomized clothes as well, so that, that's always that's always fun. And we got something completely useless, the classic. I feel like something in the randomizer that I love is that Godric, or not Godric, um, Gideon cosplays whatever boss he's replacing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I love that, that change. Hopefully, we'll be able to run into him to to show that off. Okay, oh gosh, there are some not that great things around here regarding this uh, this graveyard. Normally they're just like dumb enemies that don't actually hit you. Okay, I'm probably gonna die here. The Kalid dogs are not the most fun to deal with. Okay, that is not the worst weapon. That's Your also fingers to use. Faith or intelligence? Um, yeah, it's faith. So that's actually pretty good for this weapon. Like it'll let us use it without putting more stats if we want. Because yeah, this weapon takes 16 faith. Uh, I'm at eight, so it only really needs four levels with the dex to to use this, or like six levels. Um, so this is this isn't a required merchant like the normal ones, but Bernal can have some uh, some good stuff. Um, like this weapon, which is probably one of the best weapons in the game, <laughs> the Alabaster Lord Sword. Uh, I actually haven't really had a chance to use it myself, um, but I would say it is stronger than Serpent Hunter, which is for those who know really? is one of the pretty iconic like good weapons of. Elden Ring, at least for speedruns and stuff. Um, but yeah, mainly because what really puts it over the edge is a, just a bit of a bug, which is the charged R2 attacks, which are, are great in this game because they deal big poise damage, helps to stagger enemies. Um, it's kind of bugged out and takes the stamina of a light attack instead of a, a charged R2. So, <laughs> um, Also here, let, let's go ahead and save Alex. I don't really have a weapon to kill him, but we'll save our pot friend here. Give him a good old smack to the rear. <laughs> this poor, poor man. There we go. But yeah, he gives an item when you save him. He also gives an item when... when... Okay, well, that wasn't really useful. He also gives an item when you kill him, but... I don't really have a weapon that I can wield. And shields don't really deal, deal that much, so... Um, with, with Alex, it's it's funny too, like if you hit him with the weapon you can't wield, you actually just like bounce off him like you're hitting a wall because he's like too hard or something with the the weapon. It's interesting. Really? Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of smithing stones. Oh, that's another setting I have on is, um, the smithing stone upgrades, uh, yeah, we'll grab that. Actually, I want to buy this. Oh, is there anything wrong? I would like to buy just a couple golden seeds to, to help us out at the start here. Um, uh, what was I saying? The smithing stones. Right, right. So the smithing stone settings, um, there's a setting to make smithing stone weapons, such as, uh, I guess, like the shield. I think these are all um, somber weapons that I have. But the smithing stone requirement normally is like two smithing stones then four then six so it's like 12 of something per tier but with the setting it changes that to just one for each level oh, so it, it's nice. like three per tier yeah 
So that way we can actually uh, use a smithing weapon if we find it without like just feeling like it's really super slow and bad like resource investment. Cause, yeah, yeah cause somber the, weapons. The sombers are just so much better mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, they just take one. They just take like one somber one through ten gets you a fully upgraded weapon where you would need like a hundred various smithing stones <laughs> for a normal smithing <laughs> weapon. Um, and we actually just got some more sixes here, so maybe we do a smithing stone weapon. Although I'd like to use the alabaster lord sword. We are doing a speedrun after all, so I would like a, yeah. a pretty good weapon. <laughs> As, uh, as fun as this one would be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep uh, going around here. There's also um, it's like a merchant on the way here to Fort Height, which can be an important item. Generally though, it'll probably be, I mean, it could just be a Dectus Medallion, but it'll probably be something like a Golden Seed or a Sacred Tear. But there are some items in the fort to, to check. How many like pivotal checks would you say that there are? Um, the the main thing are just the bosses and the merchants. Um, although with fifty percent bias, it's kind of more important to go for the bosses rather than check the merchants. Um, so I guess just those really. So I'll be focusing more on just kind of progressing through the game and doing bosses rather than going around doing every little. Oh, okay, um, you know we're gonna we're gonna do a little quit out there it's like what we do in speed runs when we're bad to uh, avoid doubt. dying <laughs> when in doubt, yeah, if you get dismounted you're you're vulnerable on the ground there uh you know i wanted that scare but yeah those enemies are kind of annoying i'll pass <laughs> Ooh, a somber seven that is good um Oh, a setting I do have with the smithing stone bell bearings. Um, I have those not randomized, so if I really am struggling to find like a single uh, smithing stone just to like finish off like upgrading a weapon or like maybe to in the middle of an upgrade path, um, I can go out of my way a little bit to get that just to secure like a, a solid weapon before I get too much farther in the run. Oh, so um, like where the where the like where the crystal knight duo or whatever would be whatever boss yeah. is there will mm -hmm. drop the bearing exactly yeah just to give it a bit of consistency in terms of nice. having a, a viable weapon level good little marathon strat yeah oh, welcome here's our merchant number three hopefully i won't ooh Oh, th see, okay, so there are two glintstone keys in this game. This one is fake because the text says the glintstone key is brand new and used by anyone. Um, whereas the the actual one that gets you into the academy says, like, the key will always remember its user. This key is the one that you give back to Thops so he can go into the academy for his quest line. Um, so, yeah, the actual key, you know, still have to, to find it. It could be dropped from a boss, could be from a merchant like that. But yeah. So grab like to grab this grace uh, before I go into to this place, warp back to, and then I kind of head that way, check some graveyards, grab another merchant, and then by then I'll usually um, vaguely commit to a weapon to go into the, the first boss, which is Margit. Ooh, a big shiny here. Ooh, this is the boss weapon that drops from the... The moose boss, the ancestor spirit, but it's pretty big stat requirements. But it does have a neat, uh, special skill. It like lowers the defense of enemies by a lot. But is I, that I, just I won't on, really be on using contact, it. or is that weapon art? Um, yeah. So it's like a an aura around it. Like when you use it, um, you kind of shimmy it like a maraca, and then it <laughs> it outputs like this kind of heat seeking like debuff orbs so this guy is replaces the knight so he always drops something like that uh, the knight normally drops bloody slash there um so i like to just, if it's a really easy enemy to just kill real quickly then usually do that okay this chest up here is normally one of the dectus medallion halves so we'll see what it what it actually is 
uh, it could even be a great rune, but in 50% by 50% bias, I would be very surprised if it was a great rune. Thousand pouch. Okay, that's pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. Also, I've I've been loving the uh, the impl uh, implementation of the the chest skips. Oh yeah, doing. yeah. So if sometimes you'll see, I'll jump on top of a chest and then like kind of shimmy off of it and open it as I'm falling. It just kind of skips the opening animation. It's a bit. Um, say precise i guess but you know it, it it's not it's not the hardest thing to do um but yeah sometimes like when i'll try going for it i'm definitely not saving time <laughs> like the the less than half a second it would save you're right <laughs> doing it but just a fun stylish thing to do a lot of upgrade materials there that's good got a smithing two or a somber oh i was just about to say if we get a somber one then we'll have a somber one through three so that's very good we have a somber one through three now which we can actually upgrade to at the church anvil without actually going back to round table yet so i won't have to go to kayla or anything what what gets melina to talk to you to go to round table is grabbing a grace in kayla or Liernia or something like that like outside of limgrave or um triggering the Margit fight for the first time. And another freaking Kayla dog. Oh, speaking of Margit, there's one of his his overworld clones. Uh, I guess really the only one. Okay, very, very fun. Jeez, these guys are not I, fun to I, deal I, with. I, I just I want the item, guys. man. <laughs> and then Torrent turns like a, like a horse. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a school bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, school bus. I was going to say car, but... It, Honestly, that would be a, a compliment to Torrent. So. Yes. That's those are some crazy enemies guarding the these items I usually like to grab here. <laughs> See if we can just grab this real quick. Oh, that's a uh, that's some fire breath. Okay. Oh, I thought the fire hit us, but just a rat, a little rat jam there. Uh, yes, yeah, item would be important. Um, so you can also kind of tell the importance of an item um, by like the the little light that they give off. Like this one's a purple, so it could be something useless like that, or like a crafting material like the the butterflies, or it could be something good like a talisman or a cool weapon. Um, the small like white glow items. Um, usually are completely useless or like they're like a small golden rune um, some more useless crafting material um, but the tall white items can be upgrade materials which I'll usually always grab and then there's the legendary ones like this which can be a remembrance like that which is pretty good oh wow commander standard too so why I say wow for commander standard is it gives a buff for 30 seconds that increases your damage output and negation by 20% each. So it's a, it's a pretty good buff. Um, so I, I honestly could just use that weapon instead of the Alabaster Lord, but I kind of want to try it out. The Alabaster Lord Sword to show off how good that one is. You could just left hand the uh, the commander standard as yeah, well. Yeah, I'll probably like equip it, buff, and then de-equip it. So in terms of like leveling in the randos, I like to uh, usually just find like a weapon I'll probably want to use and then level up the weapons for that and to, to use it well enough or like to, to actually use it. But then after that, I'll just like level health a lot. So just so I don't die, just to like, you know, keep going. Um, and then after that, you can put more into damage and stuff. I'll check these items out here real quick. Doesn't really hurt to check these. Yeah, well, those were uh, saying they were the, the small, like, white item glows, so they were basically completely useless. Oh, uh, that's a neat thing with jumping down the, uh, the spirit springs. They give you, like, fall damage immunity, not just when you jump off of them. Such a good mechanic. Yeah, it's definitely nice for getting around. Um, Okay, so this is Somber 2. I'm actually gonna sell my runes here. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy doesn't really have much. But I want to go back to Bernal, buy the Alabaster Lord Sword, level up stats to use it. 
level it up to three, and then we can just go right into the first boss. It'll be a pretty easy setup. Plus three um, on a somber weapon, you're gonna be chill. Yeah, and th this I actually bought this helmet because it gives plus three strength. The fun little little thing. All right, what does this take? Twelve dex, eighteen faith. Okay, or eighteen int. Should have enough levels, yeah. And then I'll leave a little bit of money there just for the level up cost. And I think Ronnie will be here talking to us, but we don't got time for Ronnie. Sorry to those Ronnie enjoyers out there. <laughs> Was that plus four just now? No, plus three. So at that, that last text pop up says like, uh, you can't upgrade further on this, like on this bench or oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. you, you got to actually get to the to the round table. So yeah, plus three, which is really an interesting balance that you can do a somber plus three out of ten, but only a, a smithing plus three out of twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> like so, it's that just feels... an, another reason why sombers are better. Okay, this guy, can you move? Please. Okay. Gonna, no, he's still blocking me. Okay, that got us through. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I've never had something that big block me there before. <clears throat> All right, here I need to kind of reallocate my my flasks. Um, so I really don't need a mana flask. I don't have any physics stuff. Oh yeah, the, the standard. Can I even use this? No, I can't. Not yet. Alright. So let's see what the first boss is. Oh, it's Nial. Okay, the good thing we came equipped with this. So you'll be able to see... I can turn these guys against him here at the start. And then... Oh, that's gonna hit me. Yeah, because I'm bad. Oh, they're kind of fighting each other right now. Yeah, so they didn't really do much. Whoops. Oh, that's going to hit me. But at least now I don't have to deal with them myself. Is this a, is this a great sword? Oh, okay. So now we just got to fight me, y'all. Okay, I'll just take the repose. Um, but yeah, you'll see here the charge R2 attack that'll do does not take much stamina at all compared to how much it probably actually would take. Ooh, okay. That's a skill issue. <laughs> see if I can hit him from here with this. Oh, that does hit him. Okay, nice. I didn't do the follow-up. Oh, come on. Oh, no follow-up. Okay, there we go. Just do a charge to finish. And nice. first boss down. It's a bit closer than I would have liked it to be, but that it goes to show that, yeah, just leveling up health once you can use a weapon is, is very important. That early bewitching branch. Yeah, from yeah, the from the uh, start for sure. That's good. Mm -hmm. That was actually kind of a an instance where the summons didn't really do much at all there. Usually they can get him to like half health or lower, just from the summons hitting him. Excuse me. Kind of nice to not have to fight them though, at the very least. Oh yeah, yeah. That's definitely the biggest thing. Summer nine is good. So here I like to. Um, grab these few items, um, open the gate, grab that grace, and then actually kill Gostok for multiple reasons. The more important reason is that he's deserves it. He, he just deserves it. I agree. Um, <laughs> the other reason is he drops his bell bearing, which isn't uh, an important one. Like, like it can't have a great rune, but it, just another shop full of items. So when we go back to the round table here from Melina talking to us, we... Uh, Go to the maidens and give them all the bell bearings, and check the twin maiden husk shop as well for the bell bearings. Very 
Where is the vanilla pickup for this sword? Um, it drops from the Alabaster Lord and the Lake of Rot. There's like uh, an optional kind of guy just chilling there. Not even a boss, he's just a, just a dude. Just a dude. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I like this physic. That is Golden Halberd, which is another good weapon, but I'm gonna, gonna not use that because we've already committed to this. Give you all the bell bearings. And let's see what Gostock had. Ooh, the blue dancer charm. Ooh, and a smithing a somber fort, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, I'm hesitant to buy. Wait, do I have a five? No, I don't. Okay. Um, this is a an eight. So I think I just need a ten and a five and a six. Yeah, five, six, and ten, and that's it. Yeah, we can get this to plus four. Um, no point really cooking oh, that talisman. And then just go ahead on to Stormville Gate. And run through Godric and hope that we get a great rune there. Uh, I can level, so I might as well. So this is a pretty chaotic area to go through here. Um, let's see if I can put on better armor. Yeah. Let's grab these items. So, yeah, obviously because the randomizer, there's pretty crazy stuff. Although we don't have to deal with the ballista guys shooting like the ballistas at you as you run through, as you probably already noticed that we didn't get bombarded by the the ballistas trying to just go through this area. Jar, that Jar. is a helmet. Also, can um, we just uh, can we all for a second acknowledge that Chris completely abandoned the golden horn at, at first? At first opportunity, <laughs> we're no longer using the beautiful <laughs> weapon. I mean, I just... Yeah. Love God. Maybe it gets a prize later on. <laughs> but yeah, that would, would have been not the best weapon for... Uh, okay. Ant. Ants are another very annoying enemy. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, oh, that's a good talisman, oh, but... So okay, good. there's a lot of things here. See if I can live. Oh, that's the one that shoots lasers, I think. You'll see what I mean in a second. Yeah. Okay, and those lasers last for a while. Very scary situation there. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how I made it through that. Just want to grab my items in peace. Oh, and we got a flying skeleton dude. I missed an item or two, but, uh, you know, I'm good. I don't, we don't got to go right. back in there. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, a plus four weapon could, is, like, good enough to get through the capital, which um, after the capital and the mountaintops, there is the bell bearing to get the five and six um, somber smithing stones. So, oh, there's an item here I missed. Um, so uh, then I could just upgrade to, like, nine, a plus nine. Which I don't I don't need a plus ten. Honestly, like a seven, eight, or nine like weapon is totally fine for me. Like the the whole run. But yeah, obviously the bigger the better. Oh, not one of these guys. This is so cursed. I wanna go in here, and I don't want the enemies. So quitting out He's in this cheater. game resets cheater. the enemies. Yeah. Don't wanna don't wanna deal with the royal revenant while I uh, take care of some business here. Being, um, you were a fine warrior. sorry, Nefeli. Oh, wow, yeah, we have a plus four weapons. <laughs> well, two shots. So, yeah, she drops like duplicate item of something, which in this case was completely useless. But, uh, sometimes it can be nice to get like a double drop of something good there. Uh, that item is not useful. So, yeah, generally early on, until I have like a high level weapon. Oh yeah, I got the got that talisman. Her tree's favor plus two. Very good. It's a really good talisman. Um until I get like a fully, I guess kind of upgraded weapon that I'm satisfied with, I'll probably still just be grabbing these item checks and stuff like that. 
There's like four sort right here, including this, this scarab. Ah. That's oh, a lot God. of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Heroes room <laughs> two. The only one bigger Let's is what, what Newman's is. room, ah. right? Um, no, that, I think that's bigger than Newman's rune. The The Lord's rune is the huge one that's like 50,000. Uh, but yeah, Newman's rune is 15,000. So yeah, well, okay, well, there's the somber four, so... <laughs> uh, Godstock was not really necessary at all. Um, I will pop some of these just for now before this fight, just to level up some health. Just because we got it. No reason not to. Mm-hmm. And this Earth Trick Baber gives health in a percentage base, so the more health, the more you get. Oh, okay. Looks like we're against the Moose, which are easy. always so annoying to fight. Yeah, they're, they're pretty easy, but... They do a lot of that. And is this the... Yeah, the question regal? is, is this the one that... Yeah, it's the Regal. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a, a pretty solid weapon. Oh my gosh. But yeah, teleports away. Heals up a lot. Oh yeah, in this arena, some they just don't teleport. But yeah, got a stagger there. Uh, I think I missed the headshot, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, plus four weapon this early with like it shows kind of how strong this weapon is. Ooh. Okay, so this is interesting. I didn't get a great rune, which kind of sucks. Um, to our home, bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> Chris, did you know that thou art unfit even to graph? <laughs> I like the the Godric voice lines there. Forgive They're me. so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, what I was saying, the Pure Blood Night Metal warps us to Moog's area. Um, so we could get a little spicy and immediately jump to a Moog fight, um, which could have a great rune. It makes me think that there will be a great rune there because... Um, the, with 50% bias and kind of higher, the key items form sort of these chains of like, oh, okay, you get this item, which un unlocks this area, which unlocks this boss, which you can then, um, which then drops a great rune. Um, so like if we go to Moog and beat Moog, we would probably get a great rune there because from that Godric fight, which is like an important fight, quote unquote, it's like a main required boss fight. Um, you know, it, it makes me believe that we will get that. But the scaling of things do scale to like the area. So like, yeah, we would be going into Mogwin's palace with like a plus four. Um, so if it's, you know, a boss like Melania, I probably wouldn't really enjoy that fight too much. <laughs> It'd take a while for sure. I think but you could also look at- Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I, I, I was just- <laughs> 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 The classic. Um, I think we were about to say the exact same thing as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get like Ranala Phase One, where just the the girls like singing on the ground and doing nothing. So yeah, me, I, you know, I say once we check these merchants and stuff, we can, we can go and give Moog a visit. The hardest part, honestly, is the run up to Moog with all the random enemies replacing their ooh strength not tier. That is good. Um. That's really good. What? Oh, I want to have a craft one of these two. I was going to say that uh, it's probably worth mentioning for those who have never seen an Elden Ring randomizer run before that major bosses are shuffled in a pool and like more minor bosses are shuffled mm. in a pool. So, like, for instance, you're not going to see Knight's Cavalry or uh, like a. I don't know, a, a Mariner. A soldier of Godric or something yeah, like that. It, yeah. That's not going to be any of the major bosses. So the major mm -hmm. bosses are shuffled within their own pool, so that means, like, there's a Dragonkin soldier, the, like, big one, um, Fortisax, Placidisax, Melania, any any Remembrance Bearers, um, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, like, you know, dragon bosses are replaced with dragon bosses, like, knight bosses with other knight bosses, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you, you can do the settings in the randomizer to do like basically any kind of configuration you want, which is really awesome. So yeah, you could just have all bosses be, um, at like anywhere, not just the limited spots. Um, yeah, let's go this way. 
a bit of a skip down here this way to get to EG faster. Uh, we can't go into the academy because we don't have the, the key, at least the real one. Um, so here I'll be kind of taking a port up to EG the blacksmith, uh, check his shop real quick, and then kind of going towards the Dectus lift. Uh, although I'll probably be taking the Ruins Room Precipice up, which is like the cave system where the Magma Worm is to get to Altus Plateau. Because um, that's generally just faster than trying to find the Dectus Medallion. If you come across the Dectus Medallion, then yeah, that's definitely faster to take the, the big lift. But once I check these merchants, I'll uh, we'll go give Moog a visit. Uh, that's not an important item. Hello, EG. My, my king. <laughs> Love this guy. Yeah, he's great. Well, I presume. Oh, I am an old soul here, perhaps. And he doesn't really have anything useless. Okay, oh, please take care, big guy. So I'll stop by Carry Manor. Carry Manor has um, actually a required merchant after the Loretta fight, which could also drop over Great Rune. Um, so I might. Come, ooh, a little lag spike there. Uh, might come back to it, but with only two great runes required to like, I guess, progress through the game, uh, it's not really that important at all. Although there are a lot of items in there that would be nice to check. How many great runes are there? There's seven. Seven, yeah. The seven normally are Godric, Renala, Rikard, Radon. Uh, Moog, Melania, and Morgoth. And so, obviously they're not going to drop from like the normal spots, but those are the, the seven to get. Kill this bug here. Nice. Got some pants. An important thing to have in the <laughs> lands between. <laughs> Alright, merchant here. Uh, nothing important. Raises it. That's actually not that bad to get. Raises int, which is what a... Okay, this goes mostly with strength, but it'll still help our damage a little bit. How much exactly? Oh, two points of damage. Oh, running Shucks. into a wall there. <laughs> yeah. What, Erdtree's favor is health and what else? Um, health increase, stamina increase, and equip load increase. So good. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice one to have, because a lot of the time you get like completely useless talismans. Let's go to let's go to Moog's area. What could go wrong? If the boss ends up being seemingly like pretty difficult, we'll come back if we need to. But if you beat it, it's like, what, 200,000 runes or something? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it would actually... By default, Mo drops like 420,000, which oh, is a pretty good number. <laughs> um, but the randomizer kind of like will scale it depending on the boss. So like sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less depending on the boss. Oh, also like in this area, you'll notice a lot of the guys are just kind of passive because they all they are normally just passive. All the like the bloody like zombie skeletons here, but there are a, the occasional few who actually aggro on you. Which can be scary because sometimes it could just be like a rune bear out of like the one in like 30 chance. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, like one of these big guys is. Okay, just letting me pass nicely. There's an item here. Somber 5, come on. Oh. This is just a, it's a, just a group of gamers hanging out. There was <laughs> yeah, that an was invite, like. They all answered the call. <laughs> just vibing. Yeah, just that was like twenty the, the, of the most dangerous enemies in the game, just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, fortunately there's no like, rune, like I feel like every other time I have a rune bear running at me through that area, that was like the best like run through I've had. Um, okay, that guy didn't really have anything. Um, okay, uh, please don't block my path. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Ooh, that is a very good talisman to get. Oh, yeah. That increases your skills by 15%. Unfortunately, this isn't, like, the best skill, but, like, 
Decisions, decisions. I guess it depends on the boss. Get another flask here. Okay. Let's run up to Moog here and hope that it's something bearable. Although a plus four summer weapon probably isn't going to be that much damage. Whoops. Let's actually pop our rune arc here. If you use a rune arc without a great rune equip, you just get a plus 5% health increase. It's a nice little... Oh, actually, I'm going to send the elevator back down in case we want to just dip and come back. <laughs> the classic. All right, let's see what we get here. Radon. Okay, that is not one I like to see here. <laughs> uh, we'll give it one attempt. Not, not the let's worst see how it goes. damage in the world. Yeah. Definitely not the worst, but I probably will get one shot here. Just <laughs> by like play at least most of his moves. Head. True, true. Might stagger him. Oh, okay, I missed. Just hit him. There we go. Yeah, I figured it'd stagger soon. So now he's gonna do his like phase two transition thing, which you can kind of just get behind him here. Hit him with some attacks. Roll up for the front. And he'll always do the slam, and you just keep hitting the horse. Okay, so that one didn't one shot, but oh, okay, he did a different <laughs> follow up than I thought there. Hmm, you know that's not the worst damage. I thought it was gonna be much worse, so I'll give it uh, another try for my. my Let's pride's go. Sake. <laughs> Gamers, get your power in the chat room. <laughs> it's probably not worth it, but... Oh, and now he's doing the... That's fun. Oh, the arrows. Okay. Yeah, this is so rare that he actually does this in a... Okay. Thank you, Radon. Oh, that's gonna... Okay. Oh, I rolled! <laughs> the Elden Ring classic. I rolled! Our third time's a charm. Last try and then I'll, you know, we're more or less on a time limit. So I don't want to waste too much. Although I know this will have a great rune, so we can come back once we get like just a bit more levels and stuff. More importantly, weapon level. Oh, the health will help too. Okay. Oh, this is good RNG here. When he does this attack, you can kind of just stand under him and hit him. Shrink our physic. I totally forgot to do that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the, the attack I just died to. <laughs> That's a scary move. Oh wow, that staggered. This thing does a lot of poise damage, wow. I mean, I knew it, it was good, like better than Serpent Hunter potentially. Okay, just do your attack, man. <laughs> Sorry, Leonard. Beating up on his horse there. Yeah. The main reason what makes this weapon so good is the uh, just how uh, little stamina the Charger 2 takes. Like, they just kind of bugged out, I guess. Oh, it's so weird when he's on a slope, you can like barely see him. So here he's probably going to jump out of the arena. Yeah, it's what we call a uh, Radon leave. <laughs> And then he'll be coming back. He always comes in the way that you're facing, so you can like kind of manipulate where he's gonna come from. Okay, here's his buff move. 
Phase two, definitely a lot scarier than phase one. Oh, he's doing this. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I staggered. I wish. Okay. Sure would have staggered a bit after that. Oof. It's so hard to see when he's so tall and on the staircase. Okay, this is, uh. Ooh, those meteors broke off the wall. Oh, I forget how to dodge the move on the ground. Okay, worked out. <laughs> that was a bit greedy. Oh my god, it worked out. Oh, that's good RNG. Oh, he's buffing again. Please stagger here somehow. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a good move. All right, we're good. Oh. You are you are <laughs> goaded for that. that was... you, are, you are goaded for that. And we didn't even get a great no rune. Great oh, rune. my God. <laughs> okay, whatever. I... <laughs> So all that. that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did get 240,000 runes, which is not as much as you normally get, but you'll see we'll still be able to get a lot of levels here. <laughs> that was like 20, 30 levels. So the rest of the game will be a breeze, at least in terms of surviving. <sighs> um. Yeah, now I can use the commander standard as well here. I'm actually gonna drop the rest of my items. So they don't clog up my inventory. Oh, we'll keep the horn. Uh we'll keep that as well. He's run into right card. Yeah, so that way I can just menu easily to select and deselect it. Alright, let's go dial the scaling back a bit and head through the Ruins Room Precipice. And Radon is probably like one of the worst bosses I could get in a low damage fight there. Because, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty scary with uh, a lot of the Phase 2 moves. That was... Uh, I, I was on the edge of my seat for that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was I. <laughs> I, I bet. Uh, <clears throat> But we are professionals. We don't. We don't choke around here. That's right. Of course. Surely. Is that? Are you calling somebody out there? Or? Oh no no I was, I was <laughs> uh, definitely I'm trying not, to bait no. you into making content, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> drama 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 <laughs> drama drama drama. Bigger number, better person. <laughs> That's what I like to say. That's what I like. So yeah, this, this is a bit of just running through this cave. Not the most interesting. But there are some item pickups along the way. But this won't... Yeah, okay. Some bones. That's... Do you, do you have, like, a, a number one I do not want to see this boss in this arena? In this arena? So, firstly... Like, any, yeah, like, any one arena, yeah. any one boss? Um, Probably the Godskin duo boss room is pretty bad to get, like, Fire Giant Phase 2 or, like, Valiant Gargoyles or something like that because it's just such a small room for such big enemies. Um, especially because Fire Giant Phase 2 has an attack where he shoots out, spews fire from like his mouth, stomach mouth, whatever it is. Um, and that move like bounces off of walls and has the huge hitboxes that go crazy everywhere. So in a small confined room, uh, it's you're better off like jumping off a cliff than, than dealing with that <laughs> uh, in, in game, obviously. Um, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't. Okay. Well, oh, the warrior jar shard. I got I got hit by the guy behind. Don't me, you so already have the that. warrior jar shard? I have the shard of Alexander, which ah. is the better version that you get from actually completing his quest. 
Um, but yeah, so you can see boost the attack power of skills, greatly boost the attack power of skills. <laughs> so normally you can't get them both in a single playthrough, but this is a randomizer and the randomizers don't care about conventional rules. Another giant dog. Please let me climb this ladder in peace. What could go wrong? Okay, as long as we don't run out of stamina, we should be fine here. Please don't hit me. No! Oh, we regen just enough stamina. Nice. Wait, is that what dictates if you fall off the ladder or not? Mm-hmm. If you run out of stamina, then, uh... Another Kaled dog. Bro, leave me alone. <laughs> The Caleb dogs and the Caleb birds are my two least favorite enemies. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the birds are well. worse. Yeah, I I'm glad we haven't imps. found a, a bird yet. Oh, no. That guy's going to spew Death Blade at me. Um, we're going to do a, a quit out classic here. Mm hmm. I also noticed the Caleb dog aggroed on me as well at the end there. So. <laughs> this guy will be aggroed still, but. Okay, okay, he's just kind of owning me. I need some more sacred tears. Oh, the death plate. Just die. This okay, weapon art stamina talisman. Sick. Yeah, pretty good for this area. It gives me some, uh. <laughs> Let me drink this, actually. <laughs> gives me some poise there to just tank through all that. That was that was nice. But yeah, the the plus four weapon. Yes, if I had like a plus eight weapon or something like that, I would just one shot all those enemies. Weapon level is like your most of your damage in this game, whereas and then it's like gonna be like your buffs and talismans and stuff like that, and then it's gonna be uh like your stats. Surprisingly, don't really matter as much. They still help. They still go definitely uh, matter. But not nearly as much as like having an upgraded weapon. I feel like the same is true in like, almost every Dark Souls game, really. Like probably, yeah. Upgrading I, your weapon is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. I'm not the most familiar with the ins and outs of really other Souls games besides Elden Ring. I mean, I've, I've played like all of them except uh, Demon Souls, but not like nearly two thousand hours <laughs> like with Elden Ring. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. I recommend it. the Demon Souls remake. It was fun. I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely want to get around to it at some point. You also I just don't could have beat it in like two sittings. Yeah, yeah, I, I do know that it's, it's more on the shorter side. Yeah, I don't have a, a PlayStation, so. <laughs> Borrow friends at some point for it, maybe. Yeah. So this is not a major boss. Oh, uh, no, th this actually is an important check. Which is another reason why I'd rather go here than through the Dectus Lift, because, yeah, okay, it's Horalu, aka Elden Chad. Uh, you'll notice it's just the phase two. The phases in this game for the bosses are, uh, I gotta jump, are, uh, separate. The only exceptions are Godric and Melania, both have phase one and two tied to them. This is. I think one of the best bosses they've ever designed. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of Mr. Chad. He's incredibly good. Okay, should be good. It's a pretty strong weapon, plus four, so like yeah, he doesn't really have much on us here. Finish him in style <laughs> and move on. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll take a sacred tier, but. Yeah, that, that fight can drop a great rune. Um, more so in 0% bias is where something like that will happen. Um, got one of these again. So probably won't die the rest of the run. So we might as well pop that. Just to be the confidence. Safe. Chad, can we clip that? <laughs> can we can we, can we we note that? Probably won't die for the rest of the run, Chris. Yeah, the probably is if we run into like Valiant Gargoyles in a very bad arena or like Godskin Duo. Um, although actually, yeah, this this weapon deals magic damage, um, which the gargoyles are, like, that's the best damage type to deal to the gargoyles. They have, like, zero resistance to it. Um, so definitely use magic damage or just spells in general, like magic against them if you can. Ooh, a big shiny item. wonder if it's it. Ah, okay, nothing useful. 
every time I see a, a legendary item like this, I always get excited and hope it's Elden Chat armor. Like Horlu, the Godfrey armor, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, I think this is... Oh, okay, this is... What's her name? The Adula. That one. Yeah. Spawns in. It's the one on the plateau there, normally. The Moonlight Altar, rather. Okay, so Chris, here how do you feel about uh, oh, after ahead. maybe the next after DTS slot? Maybe we do the first break. Ooh, um, I mean, honestly, I probably just like check some merchants and stop, stop whenever. Okay. Um, um yeah, but in like five or ten minutes. Yeah, it should be good. Cause yeah, in Altus there are uh, like three merchants here, two of which are kind of like this way. One's in the capital. One's like just outside it. The other is up in Mount Gelmir. Um, which I do want to go check because, um, that merchant, I think has a tendency to have more likely have a great room, but also it's on the way to Volcano Manor and talking to Tanith and getting like the drawing room key is also an item check. Um, so she can definitely give you a great rune or something important, but yeah, man, I'm really surprised that Moog didn't give us a great rune, even though it was... The palace uh, warp drop was from God. Did he drop a progression item of any kind? Nope, just uh, an imbued sword key, and I think it was yeah the rusty key. So not not <laughs> it's not important. Um, I guess I could check that rusty key spot real quick. Where you normally get the rusty key can be an important item. Although in fifty percent bias, uh, it's not as likely, which is why I didn't really check it. But yeah. Here I'm avoiding running up the middle there, even though it's a little bit faster of a path because yeah, randomized enemies and more importantly the randomized double bosses up here at the end. Um, normally it's like a tree sentinel duo, which you can just run past pretty easily, but sometimes you'll get like a falling star beast, or tree avatar, like some big guys. Yeah, falling star beast, but this one's a tippy mariner, so that's nice. Don't probably won't even aggro the beast. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, yeah, I don't really need this grace, but... Grab some items. And yeah, the merchants just, like, just up here. We'll check the merchant, then we can go to a break. Sounds good. Because, yeah, I'm not... The, the DTS enemy, it's just a bit more running, but also, you know, it could be some crazy stuff. Or it could just be a Tibia Mariner, and we... <laughs> We just hit him while it doesn't really do much. Uh, it's a neat helmet, but this one gives us strength, so we're gonna keep that. I see the little tarnished. I see the little tarnished. What do you turn into? One of those. <laughs> um, what they're called. The annoying shrimp guys that shoot the, the things at you, the darts at you. The shrimp guys that shoot the darts at you. Yeah, you know, like the Kaelid ones. The like... Um, anyway. We're not talking about materials. the lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not the lobsters. They're like, the, the they're not prawns. Because I think that's what the lobsters are actually called. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Like the rot kin or something like that. I don't know. Uh, that was rude. Should That'd be a fun way us. for a hitless run to end, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Randomizer hitless runs seem uh, pretty crazy. All right, here's our merchant. Uh, no great rune, but that is the discarded palace key, which is... An important potential check. Okay, thank you, Mr. Imp. Um, so the when we, team. if and when we do find the Raya Academy key, um, the the chest in Rinal's room can have a great rune, so that could very likely be it. But yeah, all right, we can go to uh, go to break here. 
Sweet. Well, we are going to pause the timer here, gamers. Do not go anywhere. We are not finished. There is so much more Elden Ring randomizer still to come tonight. We haven't even found a great rune yet. There's so much content left. <laughs> uh, everybody stick around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in just a few moments. We're just going to stretch our legs, get some water, and we will be right back. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Unquick Hot Fix. This is Challenger Approaching, which is the show all about challenge runs and the runners who perform them. My name is Adef, and we are back. We took a brief break, but we're back with more Elden Ring Randomizer with Star O Chris. Maybe it's Star Zero Chris. I've never actually asked what the proper pronunciation is, but we'll get into the nitty gritty details of gaming. In just a moment. We have some announcements. Gamers, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and Bits cheered on the Games Unquick Twitch channel. Help support GDQ Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. Chris, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So you I'll can, go I, ahead you can and... give a countdown whenever you're ready. Oh, three, two, one, go. Um, yeah, <laughs> <There> <laughs> three, two, go. one, go. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, here I'm gonna go back and check this merchant, this other merchant. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really the also like super sure on how to pronounce my name myself, but I usually just go like Star Chris, I guess. That's what I assumed um, it was. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue a bit better. Um, but yeah, my username is actually from when I was like nine, like fourth grade, playing like RuneScape with one of my friends. Like the yes. first kind of username I needed, so. Good. <laughs> just kind of stuck with me then. Wow, Since you then. know, you're, you're, you, you've adamantly stuck to the thing you chose when you were a child. I have pivoted <laughs> many times since then. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it a little bit, but, eh. Well, you're in too deep now. Oh, yeah, for sure. You, <laughs> with, there's a check mark on Twitch and YouTube. You're in too deep. <laughs> there's no switching it unless you somehow get Chris. That, that's really yeah. the, only, the only pivot available to you now. Yeah. Unless you go for a, a, a wild ground-up rebrand. You know, you never know. Yeah, maybe, but... But yeah, definitely too late for that now. Um, yeah, this guy not important. Uh, let's actually take this route to go to the other merchant. So actually, kind of a, um, I guess like a main slash required boss, um, that you wouldn't normally think. Or like for the for the randomized oh that's uh, probably just death I think oh that's a classic I love fall damage in this game um yeah oh it's right there I dropped down okay misremembered um um yeah so the the main bosses are actually more just like achievement bosses so like Leonine Misbegotten uh, Elmer of Briar which are more kind of you know side bosses but they're still like a part of the main boss pool. So um, those could also drop great runes. Like Elmer Briar has definitely had um, some great runes, like in the in a lot of my past runs. Um, yeah, okay. Just drop down here is some. Oh, it's a troll. So yeah, that's where Elmer Briar is in that uh, the shaded castle there. Um, I was not watching where I was going, but we're fine. <laughs> Lucky. Um, so yeah, I grabbed this grace past this bridge to maybe come back to it, but we're going to be going up Mount Gilmir into a Volcano Manor. Wait, you said you weren't going to die again. That doesn't count. Uh, what? what? What do you mean? Uh, it's different. <laughs> if you were doing a deathless run, that absolutely would count. Um... I did say probably, but I meant to like a to like a boss mm -hmm. or something like that, not uh -huh. a, a fall damage. Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> Here, I'll say that I won't die to a boss fight. How about that? Put those in into words. I can't believe we're amending this statement. <laughs> So up here we get the best part ever in Elden Ring. Um, we get the 
Oh, the I, I guess I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, the like tallest ladder in the game. <laughs> My favorite part about this ladder is that I can never find it. Mm. Yeah, Even it kind of blends torches. in to the like the wall. It definitely took me a minute to find her too early on. Is it worth going all the way to Volcano Manor for anything? Like Rykard? So, yeah, well, the thing is, uh, yeah, that, that would be good, but we don't have the drawing room key, at least not yet. So we actually can't get into the part of Volcano Manor where, like, Godskin Noble is into Rykard. Uh, can only get uh, the Tanith check. Oh, I guess but, you would need to die to the thing in Raya Lucaria. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the other ways to get in. Um... But yeah, so in but we, we at least get the grace and get the progression there, so that if we do get the drawing room key, then okay, well let's go to Volcano Manor and clear out those those two bosses. Um, although this merchant is uh, a good check to get regardless whether you go to Volcano Manor or not. Got the five head crown. That's the two head. Wow, there's so many good hats. Gaben would be proud. Another somber four. Okay, that is. Would like a somber five. Also, I think uh, where's, where's the, the rune five? bear? Up where's here. Where's the five bell bearing? Uh, it's in mountaintops, so it'd be after the capital. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there's a rune bear up there. That yep, there's the rune bear. You can kind of see him at the the edge there. He yelled at us from all the way down up there. Hopefully, oh, and a lobster. Okay, that did hit us, but and yeah, not that much damage. See, like with this forty, the forty vigor level up so early is definitely very useful. That could be the somber five, but it's so slow to drop back down there, grab it, go back up the ladder, and then <laughs> and through. So we're just gonna go to the merchant, and move on. Come on, great rune, great rune, great rune. Yeah, great rune. Melania's great rune, too. Nice. Not that it matters, really. All right, one acquired. Uh, let me grab your book. Oh, nice. One to go. Yeah, so that this merchant is usually one I like to, to check. Don't have, like, the, the great runes by then yet. Because I think this one, just because just it's, like, kind of harder to get to, he's more likely to have a great rune. Same with, like, the... The merchant in the mountaintops, the snow area. There's one there. Yeah, lots of tall ladders in this area. Very fun. Chris, there's a question here in chat that asks mm -hmm. if you are playing on current patch. Uh, yes. Yeah. On 1.09.1. .1. But yeah, I, I, I cannot be asked to down patch. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Uh, is very annoying and tedious to do. Very fair. Okay, yeah. Some every time you jump up there, it like deloads something or something just falls off the map, and you just like always get its loot drop. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is. <laughs> But I think that, that's nice. what's happening there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that one isn't that great because we're not. If we were doing like lightning damage, I would definitely use this, but. Alas, we are not. Oh! A lot of bombs there. Oh, and sometimes, like right there, you'll see me like jump up a slope. It's a bit. It's just like ever so slightly faster to like run and jump. As long as you're like, I guess, holding block um, to immediately get your sprint out. I can, I can't show it off in here, but I can show more what I mean in a second. Really Talk to Tanith first. Immaculate drip, Tanith. A golden seed. Okay, completely useless, but at least we can come back here later if we want. Um, I don't think Draconic Tree Sentinel can drop a great rune. Uh, don't think this will have one, but it could give us like the academy key, which could be good. So let's go check like some some past. Yeah, maybe checks. it's like leading you on a merry chase into Renala. Yeah. Um. So here's what I mean. Like if you if you just kind of spam jump, 
you'll see after the first one, you don't get like the, the running jump. You'll just get these little baby jumps. But if you hold block and like get that animation in between each time, you get like the full running jump just to like, it like stops like the startup of your sprint animation and then you can get the full jump. So holding, holding down block is definitely good for like for doing various parkour or again in like the the like the triple ring move that Elden Beast does that you gotta like jump over it. Oh it's so nice for that. Mm hmm Also like picking up an item and then blocking again just starts your sprint back right away. Just a nice little thing. Okay, and that rat just jumped out. Oh let's check these items actually. Okay. Summer three. Oh, that's an exploding pot. Goodbye, pot friend. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, not the hand. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that is not a great room because it's not a legendary pickup, but it's okay. It's not any. Ah, secret tier. I'll take it. I guess it's it's nice to get the secret tiers. Everybody, I do want to say really quick, I haven't said this yet, which is, is uncharacteristic of me. I usually am, am hot off the presses on this, but uh, everybody, please follow Chris. You will not <laughs> regret it. If you like Elden Ring challenge runs and stuff like that, you will enjoy your time. Be sure to follow Chris on Twitch. And I hear he's got a budding YouTube channel, and by budding, I mean successful. <laughs> uh, so check it out. Subscribe. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem, but Chief. Yeah, I put it put in a lot of time to Elden Ring, so I am, you know, a bit burnt out about it, of it. Um, not that I won't be coming back to it, but you know, with Tears of the Kingdom coming out, I'm kind of gearing up to, you know, kind of shift into that. I'm yeah. really excited for that. Nice. So you, you know, if I end up enjoying that on, game, you're <laughs> yeah, sell me on TOTK, I'm in. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are. Ooh, that's a great. Oh, there's Somber 5. Yeah, I forgot to check this merchant like at the start of the game, which I always do. Um, and yep, it had the Somber 5. Um, I also want that right now. Um, sell a lot of these greases. Okay, we'll just grab it later. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Somber 5. Yeah, I forget that 6. six. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm de okay, we can we can go do this. We can do Loretta and Pidia, and then from there we'll see if if, if we don't get a great one from here, then do Radon. I'll I probably guess. yeah. I could do all the oh actually yeah. Radon would just be best right away. I forgot we got to Altus already. So yeah, I'll I'll go check these merchants and stuff on the way to like Radon and stuff. Oh right, because the festival doesn't start until you get to Altus. Mm -hmm. Or you like do the the underground quest, but like that nah, doesn't really. I mean as much, um, but yeah, you could also do the Stake America skip, but I'm generally going to try to keep it like what we usually play, just kind of glitchless rules, like quote unquote. Um, right. Although Stake America skips are allowed in like the speedrun like glitches categories. Yeah, uh, but we that's just, always it felt yeah. a little stinky <laughs> to pretty. Literally everybody I talk to who runs glitchless any percent is like, yeah, I don't like this. So it really begs the question. <laughs> Who <laughs> is deciding? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think it is is good because it allows um, the Redon stake skip in any percent glitches, which is now a part of the new like fastest route um, for like the Bloodhounds thing, like speedrun route, where it used to be Serpent Hunter for the longest time. Um, and so, if that weren't allowed, then that route possibility just wouldn't be a thing. So it is nice to ha that it provides a bit more like variety and stuff like that, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it used to not be allowed, but then it was allowed or something. But yeah, I don't know. It definitely, I, I guess, I understand the rationale that it's not a quote unquote glitch, but it's certainly unintended. Yeah, but yeah. that's not what glitchless means. Glitchless does <laughs> not mean unintended. It just means. Is it a glitch? And I guess the community decided it was not. And I'm a bozo, and I don't know what I'm talking about, so <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> yeah, same, same. <laughs> and ultimately, it makes the speed run faster, which is cool from a viewership perspective. So yeah. Hello, dragon. Please. Uh, the the BHF route is pretty decidedly fastest right now. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. It's like a whole like two minutes faster, so if not more. It's a lot. Yeah, it may not seem like a lot, but there's just a lot of Elden Ring stuff that is required to just, just run. Just run around the map. It's like travel distance. Yeah, you didn't have anything. Give me your... Had a golden seed, which I might buy later. For those of you who do not know what Chris and I are talking about, uh, there are these things in this game called Stakes of America, which are basically mm. like this wonderful thing they added, uh, which is where even if there's like not a site of grace right outside uh, like a boss arena or whatever, if you're within the boss arena, you basically proc this little like area of effect respawn point. So if you die, you just wind up right at the boss, which is really nice. And there is a cool skip where you can jump down into Radon's arena long before it is accessible uh, and activate the boss fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you jump off the cliff kind of near the, the church where Millicent is. Um, ooh, this is the infinite boiled crab merchant. Always like me some boiled crabs. Yum yum. Gives you like a 50% damage negation, uh, like physical damage, like reduction um, for a minute, I think. But yeah, it's pretty solid. There are, yeah, there there are a lot of other, like, Stake America skips as well, not just that Radon one, although that's probably, like, the mm -hmm. most common one. Um, there used to be a lot of easy ones to get to, like, the Consecrated Snowfield without doing Commander Nial. Um, but then they put just giant kill planes across the, the like, the cliff, so you just, there's no way you could do it. There are other, like, other ways to do it now. The thing with FromSoft patches, when they fix something, it's, like, they just put, like, a Band-Aid on it <laughs> instead of, like... <laughs> actually kind of fixing something yeah i love the thing to get like the lake of rot thing where like you could jump up the mountains so they put a tree there but then you can just jump up the tree <laughs> um or not lake of rot but the the thing wait. in caleb you know what i'm talking about at like the archway i like to skip the celia town yeah 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 the, the celia skip yeah <laughs> it's a classic miyazaki just hates speed runs but yeah, maybe he really secretly does. doesn't. Nah, he definitely does. No, he does. <laughs> Which is always so funny to me when developers like have a vehement dislike of like speedrunning or whatever, because there is nobody that loves the game more than we do. Like we say we hate it. You know, we say that out loud all the time when the game misbehaves or when we play badly. Yeah. But in reality, nice cosplay. Um, <laughs> That's the actual five head hat. <laughs> In reality, though, like, there is nobody that loves the game more than the people like us who are willing to dedicate a million hours to exploring yeah. every crevice of it. So mm -hmm. it just always was disappointing to me when developers cough, cough, Nintendo, cough, yeah. cough, just make it very hard for us to do our thing. It is disappointing indeed. But how about that new Zelda game, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely timed all the, the strikes and stuff and all the drama right before the new Zelda game comes out so they can, uh... Everyone forgets about it. <laughs> yep. Shiny new Zelda, here you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what boss is this? Mimic tier. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a little... <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> but, um, oh, I think With I the, might uh, even be able to... Wait, wait. Oh, no, it's already triggered. This is the uh, Radagon music as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have so much health, but not the strongest... Oh, I forgot to upgrade my weapon, too. Oops. Uh, let's do one of these. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> He's just swinging. Okay, I am just getting outplayed on every every plane here. The poise during that weapon art is nuts. Yeah, yeah, it's nice for sure. No, <laughs> I love this this roll loop you can get with NPCs in this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just punched me. 
What an idiot. Okay, I take it back. I'm sorry, you're very smart and good looking. <laughs> you are me after all. So. <laughs> no heal, no heal. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, hopefully if we run into Gideon, we're able to do that to him too. Yes, there's a great rune. Yeah, Sick. I knew uh, I knew coming to uh, Redon would pretty, be pretty likely. But yeah, usually Redon gets 70,000 runes, but we got like 10,000 or 15,000 for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Well, that's two great runes. Yep, yep. You're chilling. So now let's, let's go back to round table, upgrade our weapon, and then just run through the rest of the game. Uh, it's number five. Yeah, just five. Okay. Uh, I'm going. There we go. Yeah, for those just joining, the reason it said Star Scourge Mimic Tier was because uh, the boss label applies to whatever boss replaces it. So, like, if you fought. Uh, say fire giant in the godskin apostle arena it would say godskin fire giant or whatever yeah something like that i don't know if that one actually works but yeah I, there's a lot of like custom ways that they do it's not just a basic like template i think generally it is but there's like some exceptions that happen with it This boss can be an annoying field boss, such as like a like a putrid avatar, like those tree spirit avatars, or like the like the wiggly worm ones. <laughs> those are kind of annoying. <laughs> the wiggly worm ones. Mm -hmm. I hope it is one. Okay, just a tree sentinel. Well, it's the one with the torch too. Yeah, this one's a lot easier to fight. I, and I love that I just explained that the boss name changes, but because this is a tree sentinel and draconic <laughs> is the part that yeah. applies, this one is just draconic tree sentinel. Yeah, I, re I realize that. That's good. And sometimes you get, just get stuff like that. Pretty uneventful. No! Come back here. Oh my god. I'll tell you one thing the Serpent Hunter has over this weapon is reach. Yeah. It also just has a better moveset, but this does have some more poise damage on like this charge R2, and it takes like way less stamina. So yeah, it's nuts nice. that you just knocked him down that many times. Yeah. <laughs> 80 poised enemies get pretty owned by this guy. Ooh, a Falfa. I will have that at the ready. Probably the Morgoth boss fight give us the most amount of runes. Can put more into mana there. Start pumping strength. I think this weapon upgrades mostly with strength. Uh, yeah. That's. Uh. I need to remember to equip. This. Oh, I got oh the yeah, your buff. Here. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Hey, useless, nice. Quest items. <laughs> a lot of useless items in the game. But when you see a shiny, you gotta go pick it up. I say that, but once I get a like a upgraded like the weapon upgraded fully, I'm just gonna be running past everything. <laughs> yep. Which is the double-edged sword of randomizers. You get to go faster, but you lose the, the loot. So here, there's a skip you can do that you kind of jump off right there. It's a lot. It's faster than what I'm about to do, but it's also way more annoying. So I'm just kind of kind of jump around the train here, and then off onto this spot. Oh, I landed on the pillar there, so I didn't take fall damage. Optimal. 
I say okay, this now, every time Elden Ring is in, but this is my favorite building in Dark Souls, the building you were just standing on. Oh, this one? It's a great building. All right. Uh, sure, man. Thanks. <laughs> I'm personally a fan of uh, Rai Lucaria Academy. That's a good building. There's lots of good buildings to choose from. <laughs> there are a lot of good buildings. Oh, crab. The word building is starting to sound like not a real word. <laughs> Whoa, that reaches from there? Okay. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get through that crab. Just physically. <laughs> so I'll just go around. And now I'm thinking about the etymology of the word building and it's seeming silly. <laughs> like, yeah, of course, it's a building. Like, <laughs> That just seems dumb. Yeah, don't don't think too much about words. It gets complicated. Leave that yeah, to the, I know. the English majors of the world, the English professors. Yeah, let them think about why the word stupid is stupid. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna ingratiate the word pog champ into my everyday vocabulary on accident. <laughs> on accident. Yeah, I don't want to be saying pog. I'm going to, like, be at somebody's wedding or something. I'm going to be like, yo, guys, pog. And they're going to be like, please, we wish you didn't come. <laughs> please just leave. <laughs> yeah, get, get out. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this Shard of Alexander on. As much as I want a little bit of extra health and quip load from the, the Urtree's favor... I think it's, it's more damage. A great question Steve. in chat here from friend of the show, Dragon Blitz. Why is it called building if they're already built? That's deep. I am not qualified to answer that question. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I'm not either, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, ooh. Oh, okay, Fire Giant phase, phase one, one is actually fine, but yeah, this is phase two. Oh, and no audio cues either. That's annoying, because Fire Giant's audio cues are really nice to when you can't really see what he's doing. And yeah, small arenas, legs just kind of get like up against the walls and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty good damage, even though it's plus five, just because of the the, the weak spot on the, the leg here. Here, you gotta let him kind of have some distance to buff up, or else he'll just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Ooh, that reached, wow. It's mm, a good spot to stand in. Yeah, we're fine here. But he didn't make a... he made a ball. Otherwise known as an orb. I would like some orbs around here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them started. <laughs> well, it staggered nice. And oh, done so. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Wish I could hear his attacks. <laughs> but yeah, but we got the there. legendary Star Zero Chris doesn't need it. <laughs> Which boss is naturally in this arena? It's uh, Gold Free is what we call him, but it's mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's Godfrey who's a boss you fight later, but uh, like a phantom golden form. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, like the gold version of him. Rest, nice. Okay. Strength. Don't forget, you have a gold pick yeah. and foul foot. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say the the, the buff. Oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just remembered. Um. Oh, I didn't see if it was a big. Ah, uh, have it be a surprise. You can kind of like jump around the corner here to kind of get a camera angle better to see what it is, but. The noise. <laughs> Oh, the scream, the, yeah. the buff, the ah. That's great. Oh, speaking of, 
This yeah, is so the this who you fight in that arena, yeah, just, just so you guys showing it off for you all. Is it sort of vanilla arena, kind of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phase one of this fight is so good too. It's yeah. it's nuts. Uh, I think this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Nice. Foul foot, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And a great rune. Well, uh, I don't need it, but <laughs> there is well, a, a third great rune. Pop. That's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Has he faced Melania yet? No, and there's a no, possibility I he have won't not. have to. Yeah, yeah. If. <clears throat> Because I'm not doing like all remembrances or like all the potential boss checks. Could just not get Melania. The boss fights that it could not be are um, Malekith, Fire Giant, um, Godfrey Horalu, like this arena we're in right now, but. Uh, and Ash Capital, and then the final fight. Because she's a. Uh, she is like a two phase boss, but she's put into like as like a one phase. But with like she'll transition into phase two once you beat her in her first phase, like in the same like seamlessly, like without a cutscene or anything. Um, same with Godric. Um, why that's the case, I'm not sure. Just to, I guess make it more interesting. Um, Was that not patched? What? That the, jump um, you just did, wasn't that patch? Oh, so there was a much nicer jump that you could just jump down the side of the, the wall and like land on a ledge and then jump off onto the top of the building. But that roundabout way, which is probably like 10 to 15 seconds slower, um, is is still was discovered like the day they patched the, the original way. Because <laughs> yeah, Mizaki hates speedrunners. Oh, a very easy way to just skip some running. Yeah, let's uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's, we can't have people doing that. Ooh, a big the shiny. thing that's so wild about it too is like having worked in QA in like a AAA studio, I can tell you that like an update, pushing an update that changes level geometry is like not a small thing. Like sure, yeah. changing collision or level geometry is a pretty substantial patch to push. Like it's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Um like memory wise. And so it's wild to me that they do it so often just to stop us from skipping like <laughs> five seconds of content. Yeah. I used to bug like level geometry issues close to launch and the developer would send the bug back to me and be like, too close to launch, can't do it. <laughs> Cause you risk breaking something else, which is exactly mm -hmm. what happens every single time <laughs> yeah, that yeah. they do it. Like in 108, they like completely broke how uh, w with 1.08 is a patch they put out maybe like a month or two ago. 1.09 is the most recent one. 1.08 they broke like how buffs like buff just won't uh, buff like magic or like certain weapons or like incantations. Like Golden Val, for example, just like wouldn't work with those things. Um, I think they fixed in 109, but there are still like some like edge cases or yeah i think with 109 they made it so you could like infinitely stack jellyfish shield yeah, buffs there was that yeah. that um <laughs> that catalyst clip that went really viral on twitter where he's just stacking jellyfish and then like oh yeah yeah mode. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so for those who don't know what jellyfish shield is it's a shield in the game but it has an active buff uh like an ash of war that increases your all damage output by 20% for 30 seconds, as long as it's, like, equipped in your hand. Um, so people would pair that with, like, say, uh, like, just a weapon in the right hand, or, like, casting spells or something like that. Um, it's pretty good for just min-maxing your damage. But... Or... But what you could do with the glitch, um, you could not only 
put it in like your your back slot so you're not actually so you can actually like wield other things like two-handed or use like the skills but still have the buff uh you could like loop it like endlessly with like some very simple like weapon swapping type stuff uh to just constantly stack the buffs <laughs> so you just get like a 300 percent damage increase and just like one shot things um, but I, I think they fixed that in 1.09.1. Could be wrong on that. Sometimes sure. they fix things that make sense for multiplayer. Uh, sure, like yeah. the rationalization being a multiplayer patch, but other times it truly is just an SP patch. And for that, I do always wonder, somebody in chat asked, and I think it's a valid question, is like, do you think that the developers think it is a blemish on the game or like an imperfection? And I, I have to imagine that's the only yeah possible I mean, answer mm -hmm. for sure i think they see speedrunners doing things that weren't intended like oh okay we need to fix that you know right and there's yeah, also the the weird thing about it too where like i don't know it it, it it seems to be something that does not like american developers don't typically do stuff like that it feels like um and you have to wonder if it's just like a cultural difference influencing the way they treat their game i don't know yeah, I mean, I could, I could see that because like Nintendo's in a similar way. Yeah, exactly. Whereas American developers are like, I don't know, the game's, the game's shit, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that that's more of that's probably more of it. Just the corporate greed, just shilling out, pumping out games, you know. Uh oh, game's broken. Speedrun will be cool. All right, let's make the <laughs> second one. <laughs> There's, there's some kind of balance to strike between these two mentalities, and very few people are strike. Indie, I'd say indie devs strike it pretty good. Yeah. Like, indie devs are constantly being like, oh, wait, we fixed your speedrun thing? Okay, we'll make a speedrun version just for you. Uh-oh, big giant hand. Um, hey, big guy. Yeah, you don't see me, right? <laughs> Surely? Okay, right, we're good. <laughs> Also, you got the rolled medallion just by stepping in. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's this this setting. You can make it. You can adjust settings for how many great runes required to get into the capital, uh, how many to beat the game, and how many to um, get the like go up to mountaintops. And so I have it set two to get in the capital. Uh, I guess two to beat the game. That's it's the same. And then uh, none required for like zero required for the rolled lift. And that way, when we, yeah, when we just go up to it like that, we just get it automatically. All right, yeah, I will be grabbing the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, the bell bearing at the, the church is kind of like up there for the, the upgrade materials. But there is a, this is probably one of the hardest skips in the game. Um, to get to like this merchant so you know i'll give it a couple tries but um is this the tree jump no so it, it kind of like oh, okay that was really bad but yeah you see that's where the merchant oh, was yeah. you like jump up to that cliff yeah all right we'll give it uh three tries starting now that last one was uh was a warm-up okay that was a failure but that's one <laughs> You have to like jump at the, like the last second of like turning. <sighs> All right, last try. Surely he clutches up. Surely. Ah, <laughs> uh, kind of a vague setup you can do for it. Okay, well, I completely failed. Let's move on. Because I could be there for like an hour <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to do it, which I may or may not have done before. I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> if you know you can do something, I'm too stubborn to give up on it. I yeah, that was like with the the Radon and Moog fight earlier. Yeah, but that was only three tries. Yeah, yeah, that one's not as bad as like honestly, that was probably quicker than what it could take trying to get that skip. The skip honestly isn't like that hard, but it just really. Oh, yeah, man, I guess it is. I don't know. It's pretty precise. I'm also, I'm also just, like, not that great at it. I kind of just eyeball it every time instead of, like, doing an actual setup. 
that's the way. Once once you become a randomizer person instead of like a vanilla speedrun person, you stop <laughs> caring about things. You're like, yeah, I'll just figure it out every time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I gotta go this way. Normally I'd go up around that way and take the invisible bridge across because it is like 30-ish seconds faster than running this way. Like 20. Oh, actually there is a a new new route to jump over the cliff here. They're using the 80% glitch of speedruns, but we gotta go all the way around and grab the bell ring, so neither way matters. Uh, there's a big dragon over there. I think that's x -Ikes. You know the, the dragon's names? One. You're in too deep. <laughs> You're in too deep, Chris. Yeah, I mean, that's not that. It's not that bad. I know way too much random stuff that just won't ever be relevant. Chris, I like to say it like this. You never know when you're going to be at like a bar trivia night and they're going to be like, Elden Ring lore! And you're going to be like, oh, baby, let's well, go. Well, the lore, uh, <laughs> maybe you'd catch me slacking. <laughs> Okay, well, they're going to be like Elden Ring item checks, and you're going to be like, oh, baby. <laughs> the only person to know. <laughs> All right, there's the bell bearing. I'll go ahead and check this item, too, though. Okay. So that's six, so now you can go up to seven? Yeah, and then I can buy the eight, and then I also have a nine already, so I can get all the way up to nine. Although Which is basically like money. having ten. Yeah, the, the 9 to 10 difference isn't as important. If I find a 10, yeah, I'll go and upgrade it, but I'm not like, I need the upgrade. I feel like there's a good chance you get one in Faramazula anyway. Um, I mean, maybe it's random. Like, there is a setting to make Smithing Stone availability similar to the base game. So, like, Limgrave will have, like, 1s and 2s, Lyernia, Altis will have, like, 3, 4s, 5s, and stuff, and then, like, Faram would have, like, the 9s and 10s and stuff like that. But yeah. Oh, also, yeah, I guess the, the somber bell bearings are like the rest of them are in Ferrum. So even if I uh, didn't have the seven, eights, and nines, like after Fire Giant, I'd be able to get to eight. And then after the gods can do a fight, I'd be able to get to a nine. So th that that's kind of a nice thing with the, the somber availability. Um, you, you get, Although I get the smithing availability, the five and six smithing stones are at the start like right up the lift in the mountaintops and then the seven and eight drop from gods and duo so just like kind of one boss later where you'd be able to upgrade again mm, gotcha which is pretty kind of actually matters because that gods can duo fight scaling just goes up like a, a, a good amount compared to like fire giant and earlier it's like a big jump it's kind of like entering the the late game it is kind of wild how, like, right there, there's just so many. Like, and then 10 is right there. Um, granted, the 10 is just before Malekith, which is effectively the end of the game, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the base game, Veramazul is a, a great spot to get all the, the upgrades. There's a question in chat that's interesting about whether or not people keep track of speedrun times for randomizers. Kind of tough. I have um, seen people do like pb attempts of the same seed um oh really the, the same, same seed it's not common but I, i've seen it done in pokemon where somebody's found a seed oh that's really sure interesting um yeah but not usually i mean people will keep a rough track of what their quote-unquote pb is for randomizer but i don't know what do you think chris uh yeah i mean with Elder Ring, they're just such a a vast like array of settings you can have that just really change how uh by that just how like the, the randomizer is um whereas like i i can imagine other randomizer settings well i don't know i guess the randomized settings can be pretty crazy but like you know you could do something like two great runes no rolled down like what i'm doing or if you do two great runes one rolled like you need to find the roll then that can just be like so much slower um so it's hard to like compare, but yeah, I mean, people keep track of their own PBs. I haven't seen anyone in Eldering do the same like seed, but I do know people like some people just kind of vaguely keep track of their PB. I I never really did until I guess yesterday or two days ago when I did like kind of a, a practice run with the, these settings. I got like an hour fifty five. Um, but, but although these settings are probably the fastest settings I've done. Are like the most consistent and fast, so sure. 
Oh, speaking of uh, having torrent for Elden Ring or Elden Beast, <laughs> you oh, get yeah, the you the long awaited <laughs> the, and the a patch. huge arena. Yeah, fortunately we do have torrent. Yeah, it's yeah. tough, right? Because like. Ocarina of Time No Logic is a randomizer that I quote unquote have speed run in the past, but like my PB was on either this show or my other show, and I just had like the luckiest seat I've ever seen, and I finished in like an hour. Mm -hmm. Whereas my estimate was three hours. So, like, you know, sometimes you just get a god seed and you're not gonna have that luck again. So, it yeah, really that, make that's kind of what happened track. to me the other day. Like, <laughs> The 155 run I got was like really lucky. I got a great rune from Godric and then like a great rune from a merchant just on the way in Altus. Okay, so yeah, you see there, if a boss gets like too far from its starting spot when it's not like in its normal arena, it'll like kind of leash back to where it was. Um, oh, a little off there. He, you mean, you see, like, even with Torrent, like, he still just runs away so much. Yeah. It's, like, hard to catch him. Okay, he should be doing Elden Stars here. I can't believe he hasn't staggered yet. I guess the should stagger timer. from there. Yeah, I was trying to get it timed with the Elden Stars, so I don't have to deal with the Elden Stars. There we go. Get the skip Elden Stars. Oh, I can't reach the... Die. All right. Nice. And now this is the first fight we get at Phase 2. So we get the cutscene and then go into Fire Renala. <laughs> this is a relatively easy one, except for the summons, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Renala. And that attack is so annoying. Can I hit her in this? Nope. I'm gonna throw a dagger at her there, so keeps up her poise damage taken. Because yeah, now that yeah. staggers. So the the poise damage in this game, the way like knocking an enemy down works is uh, they have a poise meter, but the poise meter sort of like how when you are getting poisoned in the game, the poison meter like goes up over time and down over time or whatever. Their mm -hmm. poise meter, and this is hidden from the player is like recharging itself if you don't hit them. So like if a certain amount of time has passed, their like poise will like reset. Yeah, usually after like five to 10 seconds, it varies per enemy and boss. It'll like kind of quickly recharge, like kind of like an energy shield from like Halo or something like that. Uh, that's um, a good That's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. And so like any point of like damage or, or rather like a hit, so like a throwing dagger or, you know, like even just punching with your fist or something, just to deal, a, like, a hit will, like, you know, deal a bit of poise damage, but also stop, like, reset the timer. Um, but something like Poison Mist or something, that won't trigger, that won't deal any poise damage. So, past Fire Giant, that was a pretty good, good fights to get. That scaling of that boss can be pretty brutal because it scales like fire giants kind of health, <laughs> right? Um, and without like the bonus critical spots on fire giant to account for that, it can be brutal if you get like gods can do or gargoyles there. Although we have a pretty strong weapon, good damage, so I'm not really concerned about uh, damage too much anymore. More just the potential of being like one shot. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's been another hour. We could take our second break if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could get up to, like, just before the next boss. We could, yeah, we could do a break. But yeah, we are... I'm now in Fair Missoula. Um, be, Melina sacrificed herself for the greater good. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably my second favorite area, just behind like Liernia, because I'm a big fan of like magic and stuff like that. So like the whole Liernia, like magical, like city and just the the area vibes, I, I really like. But this place is just so cool, especially so because cool. um, 
you'll see a lot of like the ruins around just in the world just like these random like chunks of buildings that are just lodged randomly oh my and that's, god i never put that together yeah, that's that's when, this. the first time when the first time i got to fair missoula and like looked at the scene i'm like oh my gosh that's the that's like the fair missoula buildings like that's what those buildings were that are just randomly about it's like where do these yeah. come from i'm like looking up and around like how could this building have got here it's just like flat limb grave in the middle of nowhere <laughs> that has never occurred to me that mm -hmm. is so cool that's kind of why it's like puts it up there like one of my favorite areas even even also just cool just a flying place yeah. with all these dragons around the the part for me that was so cool was the um also wrong one lol yeah uh, was Ugh. how there's like the the sneak peek of this area um yeah yeah like from the, the belfry warp mm -hmm. and i was like what is this and then you get here at the very end it's really cool <laughs> but yeah wow it totally is those things are absolutely all those <laughs> buildings in like Limgrave that are just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're all over the map, but I think they're mostly in like Limgrave, Liernia, stuff like that. Oh, wow, God, these needle guys. Yeah, I'm glad this I could is, uh, my share that information with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how that's bit. how I felt when I first realized it too. <laughs> all right, so yeah, we could we could take a break here. All right, well. Gamers, we're going to take a quick break. Go collect yourself after that absolute knowledge bomb. Um, we're going to be back in just a few minutes. Do not go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back with more Elden Ring. We're going to see if Chris can uh, close it out here without dying, as promised. Um, he's only got a few bosses left. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Elden Ring randomizer any percent right after this.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. My name is Adef, and this is Challenger Approaching. We've got Starro Chris showing off Elden Ring Randomizer Any% percent. We're pretty deep in in Ferrum Azula right now. Just some quick announcements here. Summer Games Done Quick 2023 is coming up, everybody. It is only 23 short days away. May 28th to June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota, if you're interested in attending the event. <laughs> Registration is now open until May 7th. Go to Games Done Quick dot com for more info and you can check out the schedule i happen to be on the schedule i'll be playing the rat the pixar rat game on like really early on tuesday morning or something but regardless chris whenever you're ready go ahead and get back into it yeah all right um three two one go all right so yeah let's just go ahead and run and see what the gods can do a fight is if this is millennia it's kind of an annoying room to get millennia um, oh, that probably can Something that be. spawns? Might be a Godskin Noble? Uh, no, I think... Yeah, or... Oh, okay. The worst, like, literally the worst... This is the uh, one thing you said you didn't want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I might die here. <laughs> and it's just completely out of my control. Oh, this is the move. Oh, he's just doing it right away. How fun. So you'll see that the fire just bounces all over the arena, and it, yep, there it hit me. It's they're still bouncing around. That <laughs> okay, we got through it though. Uh, Worth mentioning, like an hour ago, hour and a half ago, I said, "What's the worst combo?" And you said, second phase <laughs> fire giant in the Godskin Duo arena," which is exactly what you got. So that's good. Yep, dreams do come true. At least there's sound. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, ah, shit his head. Okay. Randomizer is like in a. R oh, just kidding. Wow, that wow. I was gonna say in a room where there's a ceiling. <laughs> Uh, it'll get the those bombs get stuck on the ceiling, but I guess they just barely, like, kind of got like bounced like straight back down, and they all collided in the same spot right on top of me. So that, <laughs> well, um, rest in peace, Deathless. The dream is dead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was I was gonna also say during that usually people like kind of run away and play it safe during that, but you can just go under them as long as you keep moving, which. I kind of did. I didn't like keep moving um, to just kind of avoid that. But yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> play it a bit more safe next time. Oh gosh. Oh, what? He didn't do the follow up? He always does the follow up. And now we got two orbs, chat. <laughs> no. Oh, here it comes again. See, like, yeah, they just all got it stuck on the ceiling there. I guess because he was in the center. Oh. They didn't actually, like, get stuck. Missed his head. Want to hit him in the eye there, but when he like falls on that side of him, it's not really worth it. Don't do the stomach attack. All right, nice. Go again. Oh, got the stagger. Nice. Come on. There's the eyeball hitbox. Oh, big damage. GG. No. No, 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 no. no. Uh, 
Aiden, how can you do this to me? Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> your runes! Your your precious runes! Oh, did I have runes? I mean, I probably had like a, like a, a, a thousand or something. Uh, 20,000, I guess. Okay, it's not bad. Nice. It's time wasted. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. I do want to go back and buy like the golden seeds and sacred tears and stuff that I didn't from the merchants. Oh, I almost forgot to... I keep forgetting to buff. Maybe I just level endurance so I can uh, <laughs> keep the halberd equipped the whole time. All right, so that's like one of the worst case case scenarios to get for like uh, the randomizer boss into Witch Arena. So at least we got that out of the way. Yeah, now you've seen the worst thing. It can't possibly get worse than that. Yeah, yeah, surely. <laughs> I mean, what else? What else would be bad? Would be gargoyles in uh, Radagon's arena. Um, I mean, that wouldn't be too bad, but yeah, just Gargs and, like, I guess Malaketh's arena can be bad. Mainly not the arena, but just, like, the scaling. Um, like, just the the damage and health they get. Although, with this weapon against them, I'm not that concerned. All right, let's go buy some goodies from all the, the merchant shops. Which I don't need, but it's nice to have. Um... That you oh we'll grab Margaret's shackle in case we get Margaret. Oh wait, was that oh wait, yeah, that was the fake key. Oh wait, there was a five on that shop the whole time on the key that <sighs> I knew that. <laughs> there were like two spots where there was a five and I just completely ignored it. Well that might have been the same spot. No, no, I, I saw where the other one was, <laughs> that where I actually got it from. Oh, I thought I didn't know the if that was the shop. same merchant. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> A little uh, error there. No big deal. Okay, let's equip my physic with... This is like the best... This is like the speedrun physics that you get. The uh, strength plus 10 and the... The spiked. Charge attack. Yep. Uh... Rooftop. Right here, we're gonna do a fun little skip. Just like uh, call it bird skip because normally they're the most annoying enemies in the game here. <laughs> the birds in Faramazula, like all along there with like the dragon lightning, and that's just like so awful to run through. Um, so instead, we just kind of use Elden Ring's amazing geometry and get around it. Oh, you are doing the skip. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's free. Surely I won't fall. Also, I've got confirmation we that go. if we need to, if we if we finish early, that's okay. So it's up to you. Okay. Would you would you want to show stuff off, or are you cool to just finish when you finish? Um. Yeah. I mean, I could. You can just finish when we finish. Um. Okay. I could show. Uh, like a little bit of stuff, but I don't. Ha I realized if I want to go to Hallow Tree, I don't have the Hallow Tree medallions. So mm, yes, that <laughs> I is. I have to troubling. find those. So I could show like the Neal skip really quick, which would be like a couple minutes and do that fight. But sure. yeah, also, I'm that not gonna good. not grab this grace because I'm confident I will not die here. Oh, the call, the call. But if we do, then we gotta run for another like five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna actually use my physic before I get in the room. Oh, I also have my buff. All right, what is it? Okay, this could be a dragon can soldier. Could be Fia's champions. It's Fia's champ. Oh, it's a field trip. Okay. Oh yeah, I can equip this now, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is. Oh, this is a great weapon for this. Die! <laughs> oh my god. Good but yeah, Lord. so you don't soft lock yourself. They put a, a, a second bunch, <laughs> like, off to the side <laughs> for that exact reason. Because in an earlier version, you could, um, like, kill all the kids at once, and then more just wouldn't spawn. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, then it's gonna be a two cycle. Whoops, I just didn't roll there. I am a professional. Clearly. <laughs> it's really evident how much that buff does, my god. Yeah. 20%. Ooh, Makar. Okay, this guy's annoying, but not the worst. Should be fine. Yeah, he just runs around a lot. <laughs> at the start, at least. Just don't do it again. Thank you, big guy. Should stagger. Yeah, and then we get big damage on the head hitbox here. their post here so that I can get my stamina back. But he has iframes right now, you can't actually hit him until like now. Yeah, like right there. <laughs> so sometimes it's not really worth it to take the this the hitbox on him. But yeah, alright, GG. Here let's style on him. Oh the, <laughs> the stylish finisher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright. Solid solid. Just finishing out the, the voice line yeah, of for course, him. Of course. So we skipped it. So this is another arena that can be bad if we get something big in there. Um or like God's can do it could be pretty bad because it's just not too much space to spread around. I'm I'm just worried because we haven't run into gargoyles or duo yet. Also, this is the last boss that can be Melania. Uh, at least for what's required. Because the rest are like the Malekith fight we just saw that are just like uh, two phase enemies. And Melania doesn't. will always be a, a single phase fight replacement. But it's interesting, I feel like I'd be a lot less worried about Melania than Gargs. Oh, no, Melania's free. Yeah. I'd rather fight one hard boss than like two bosses spewing poison everywhere. <laughs> poison that you they can't suck. even like, can barely, like barely see most of the time too. Here's the moment of truth. I kind of want to get Melania. Oh, it's Rykard. Okay. So for Rykard, we equip a shield. We get Serpent Hunter for free here. Okay. But first Gideon has to monologue, I think. Okay. Okay. We can... Some of the bosses you can punch and just goes away early. But yeah, here, because of the arenas that Rykard can be in, um, the lava is deactivated. Unless it's like in the actual Rykard arena. So that's why I'm able to just stand here. And I equip this shield and... Oh, oh yeah. That, so I equip the shield to do like R1, like poke R1, because it's just the most stamina, like DPS efficient. I don't... I think he's... Stuck. Okay, there we go. I mean, you got staggered, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but you saw, like, it still counts as, I guess, being hit because you saw my my shield broke when I ran out of stamina because I was like in the lava. All right. Well, that was uh, uneventful. <laughs> that was free. Oh yeah, this guy takes a bit. Die. Just dies twice. So second phase Rykard is still on the table. Uh, yes. Yeah, that can be one of the, the next bosses. And actually, if it is the start of this next boss, we'll be able to see him from here. No, it does not look like it's Rykard. Phase two. It's a bit worrying. Rather have Rykard than uh, Gargoyles. <laughs> or gods can do. Even Fia's champions can be pretty annoying. Uh, let's see the shiny. Shiny. Plus 10. Ooh, Remembrance. That's some runes. It's like, not even a full level at this at this point. Level 80, but my it got us god. An extra one. <laughs> yeah, 80. It, it's pretty solid. 
if we had gotten like the runes normally from the boss instead of like the randomized or scaled runes, we'd probably be at like 100, 110 just from like the bosses we fought. Now, let me do one of these. <laughs> Alright, what is it? What is it? What is it? Ooh, it's gonna be like Godskin Duo. Yeah. Oh, it's Noble. Okay, it's just Noble. That's much, much better. Stagger. Oh, okay, dude. Push me into his fire. Yeah, this is, this is pretty free. He'll do his phase two transition here. And this will be a stagger. Oh, just kidding. That's fine. Easy peasy. I can the buff off. And Tagotskin duo, okay. Um, LOL. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit more uh, diffusing the bomb. Kinda try to get him like separated. So I can just like hit the noble here. Now it's a bad roll. Whoops. Play an Ice Apostle, come on. Nice, and you can hit their bodies as they're like fading out there to like still hit them. Oh, that's delayed, I forgot. Wow, yeah, this deals so much damage. Holy crap, this weapon is so good. Wow, I did it so fast. I'm not even gonna spawn right away. Alright, don't mind if I do. Why can't I place this song? What is this? This is the Moose song, the That's Ancestor right. Spirit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well. No, don't summon. No! Ah, nice. Very nice. Hey, yeah, that could have could have been watcher. Oh, hey, there's a Halloween tree. <laughs> Befits a crown. All right, pump that strength, and we go into the final boss. GLHF. Thank you, thank you. So things I do not want are gargoyles. Although if I do, I'd rather have it be in the Elden Beast section of the fight. Because you can kind of you can see the poison easier there, and it's actually kind of cool looking. But also just the the bigger arena. Flashbang warning, kind of here. Yeah, it's a uh, classic. Well, Citasax. Okay, this fight will take a bit because this guy gets a lot of health. <laughs> but it's always a fun fight. The Charger R2 damage is pretty good though. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that we got the the the, the physic tier, wow. Yeah, I, like already staggered him here. Get those juicy headshots. Oh, I missed the second one. It's fine. So, oh yeah, a thing with Placidusax in this boss room is that he can just uh, like fly off the map, but still shoot like the lasers out. Uh, it's hard to describe. Maybe he'll do it. We'll see. <laughs> it doesn't happen for a little bit, at least. <laughs> ah. Can these reach you from here? No. Hit him. Nice. Okay. I want to keep his poise up there. Oh, 
Oh, okay, now he's flying away. Mm, probably gonna get hit here. Unless he does that. So yeah, that's kind of what I mean. He can get stuck down there and then he'll teleport back up. <laughs> but if he gets down there for the laser transition, he can like snipe you through the ground from down there and it's, uh, it's a fun time. Okay. Ooh, stagger. I was not expecting a stagger there. Nice. A little bit of a teleporting repose there. Hopefully I can get him before he does goes away for lasers here. I don't think I will though. No, I don't have enough damage. Okay, let's just play it safe then. So here he might just get stuck off the map. Oh no, I got him nice. Oh! Oh, I panicked like he almost pushed me off, but he actually can't fall off this arena. Okay, so yeah, if you're too close, you see how he comes at you from the, like, the edge there? If you're too close to the middle, yeah, he can get stuck down there and, like, do that attack from being down there. More got, okay, we got, uh, more got this for you. Nice, the <laughs> shackle. Yeah. <laughs> Speed it up a little bit. None of that. Ah, oh, okay, that puts him in the face transition right away. Alright. Elden Morgot. Oh, oh, I just didn't roll there. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of throwing daggers. Oh, I'd be dead here? Okay, nice, got the stagger off. Not even worried. We'll do a little style finish. Die. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> GG. And that's uh, Elden Ring randomizers. Lots of Look fun. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> Time is in a second here. Uh, yeah. And... <laughs> GG Chris Gamers. Follow Chris on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash star zero Chris. I promise it is worth your time. He's a good gamer. Lots of Elden Ring stuff and other stuff on the horizon. He's been trying out Pokemon Ironmon. A lot of Breath of the Wild stuff coming. Tears of the Kingdom. It's a good time. Thank you, Adif. Appreciate it. Also follow Adif if you aren't already too. He is also very fun to watch. Nah, nah, nah. Great yeah, you're true. You're right. Don't don't yeah, watch don't. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want to show off the uh, the fight entry for Commander Nile? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, there's a it's a fun little skip. I mean, I could also just cheat engine warp over to <laughs> the the other one that I was talking about. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, if if we have time. This one we've got, won't we've be We've got long. like five minutes. Our, our other gamers are ready to go uh, whenever you finish up. So maybe maybe like five minutes? Sure. Sounds good. So... Ooh, a nice amount of strength there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, a fast way to get to Nial. It may look a bit harder than it is, but once you get like the feel for it, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, just skips a lot of the running, like not only running around to get to the castle, but um, just like running through the castle as well. You skip to like the end of it. But it's also a little bit risky. Obviously, like if you die or mess up on the skip, you I mean, you can quit out during it, which I might end up doing if I fail it. But um, yeah, we'll see here. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, okay, I just didn't even jump off in the first <laughs> place. It's, it's been a while since I've done it, but if I, if I jump off, I, I should get it. <laughs>
Uh, let me just kind of gauge my... That should be good. Just kidding. I lied. I love that you land uh, on the tip of this tree. Uh, um, I swear this never happens to me normally. No. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this doesn't... Doesn't normally Starro, happen. Starro choke. <laughs> I just, I just. Maybe five minutes isn't enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate, I just need to like instinctively just do it, as they say. Yes, uh, just do it. That looks good. Yeah. That's good. And then you jump to here. You have to land on the rail part or else you die from fall damage. And then, Love yeah, that. you can go to the the Neal fight. Which I guess we could see who it is if it's a... But it could be Melania. Which would honestly probably take a little give while. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Sure, okay. Whatever it is, give it a Let's shot. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's... Be his champion. Oh, God. It's a summon fight. This is fitting. Did the homie just guard countered me? I feel disrespected. A little bit of an input read here or there. Didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> that that voice line scream <laughs> really sounds like the Lego Star Wars Yoda. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Roger here done. He his chest was like invisible there. That was weird. It was like see through. When, when Ayn was doing his incant only run and he was out in front of Malika for like eight hours buffing constantly, doing the uh <laughs> the like howl of Shabiri. I, I just oh, could not get yeah, that yeah. sound out of my head. <laughs> no, Lionel, leave me alone. Get that out of my hot bar. Oh! Coming in from the top row from downtown. <laughs> Double axe guy. Okay, we take those trades. Oh, the backstab Whoa, calculated. No, my God. That was completely calculated in every way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Wow, goaded. Absolutely goaded. And vanilla. Vanilla yeah, medallion. We'll see. Yeah, if it's the if it's the rolled, the the hallow tree secret, you know we'll see. It could be. It's a purple item. It is a golden seed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we can we can end there. Sweet. Well, Chris, great work. Um, and GG. Everybody, reminder to uh, to check Chris out. Uh, and some final announcements here. Um, first of all, this is not the end of Hotfix for tonight. There is another show on after this. Uh, my wonderful esteemed colleague Cutie Roo hosts Legally Cute, which is a show about cute and cozy speedruns. And on tonight, we will have cute steampunk games. So we will have uh, Steam World Quest Hand of Gilgamesh, uh, Any Percent Squire Run, which is going to be exciting. Uh, so don't go anywhere. Additionally, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games on Quick Hotfix, so please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content. You can be one of the viewers like you that supports the content, you know, at the end of like PBS, whatever. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I have been ADEF. You can find me as ADEF on all things. Uh, if you like Breath of the Wild, I'm doing a 100% speedrun this weekend. So odds are I'll be live pretty much for the next three days. Uh, and uh, if you like Elden Ring or Pokemon or Breath of the Wild, check out Chris as well. Uh, and gamers, thank you so much for watching, and stick around. <laughs>